Hi there. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video on the HDSire S smartphone. Nothing really to do with a review of the phone or anything, but uh, I was just reading about this issue to do with um, GPS and getting the device to lock onto satellites uh, correctly and quickly. So I know there was a, um, a patch available uh, to be downloaded, which apparently will fix this problem, but it seemed a bit long-winded, and I'm not sh quite sure, but I think the phone has to be rooted in order to put the patch on. If somebody can correct me on that one or not, because I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, um, looking at some of the other ways uh, might be able to do this, and thinking back to a couple of Magellan handheld GPS units I had, I came to the conclusion there must be some other means uh, to make the phone lock onto the satellites better. Now, I say this is an HTC Desire S, but it would probably be a similar problem solving uh, effort with uh, the HTC Desire, etc. But basically, um, I downloaded a couple of apps which are useful from the Android market. Uh, one of them, is GPS status, which as you can see gives a good display. Um, it's meant to show the horizon uh, on the outer circles, and over here it gives you um, a um, readout of um, the satellites that have been locked on and how many are locked on. And down here just gives a readout of a uh, magnetic field and pitch and roll, etc. But as you can see on here, the um, GPS satellite dish image is flashing, which indicates it's searching for satellites. And uh, I don't know if it's because I'm in a double glazed room here, but as you can see, there are no satellites being found on the system. But I do know this does work, so I've tried it. Uh, but that's just to give you uh, uh, an idea of. Um, how this uh, app works. It seems pretty good. But what I was going to do was uh, show you another app, which is uh, quite a well-known one, which is GPS Essentials. Now, GPS Essentials has a couple of uh, useful things on it. It has um, uh, two settings here, one which does the frequency of fixes for GPS signals, which you can actually um, change from the fastest to 10 seconds, 20 seconds, etc. The slower you do, the more uh, battery life you save. It's also got tracking update interview, interval, rather, which, um, again, you can adjust fastest or slow it down to save battery power. But the main one which is useful is this one, the position datum. Now, because um, I live in the UK, I've actually got this set to Ordnance GB 1936 England and Wales, which um, I know is a fairly common one and uh, should be fine for a handheld device like this. And uh, if you live in another area, then you need to look up what datum you should be selecting and select that one. The reason for this is because if you haven't got the right datum on here, um, the phone is not going to be able to search in the right place in the sky because it won't know the location details or rather the basics that it needs in order to do that. So you have to make sure that the position datum is uh, correct and then providing that's okay, you should then be able to um, find the satellites a lot quicker. Now, I don't know if I can do this or not. Um, it probably won't do it actually because I'm inside. But um, I've actually checked this on my um, um, place at work. And from only picking up about two or three satellites, it went up to about nine, eight or nine satellites pretty quickly. So it does appear to work. Um, doesn't appear to be working in here though. Let me try something. Hmm. 
no fix. Might have to wait for a while to it to try and get a fix. I keep flicking through the different ones. Actually, what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll pause it and I'll try and get a fix outside. That might be a better idea. So I'll just try that. Be one moment. Right, got this outside, and uh, as you can see, if you can see there, we've got one satellite found and one locked in. And uh, you can actually, on this app, download some data to help speed up the, the process. There we go, you can see it's now on two and two. Three and three. Just come up to four now. Four and four, there we go. In fact, if you look at the uh, centre of the screen there, you can see where all the satellites are in relation to um, the sky. The centre circle, uh, if you imagine that's the top of your head, that's uh, the satellites directly overhead, and all the ones in the wider circle are towards the horizon. So we've now got four and four. And... Uh, there may be an issue actually because the Desiris has got the antenna in a weird place underneath. Um, I'm not sure if that would affect it. So, um, it's, got, it's got the four there. It's pretty good. Try curving it down a bit. See if that makes any difference. Oh, it's got time to first fix. There we go. It said 119 seconds. So, I'm not sure if you have to lean it down in order to uh, get it to do anything. See there, there's the four satellites locked in. The, the compass is going a bit mad because I've got another mobile phone which I'm filming on next to it and it's affecting the magnetic field. So it's uh, wobbling around a bit. Actually, if I take that away... See if that improves it a little bit. Actually, what do I go into the? Um, just going to go into the GPS essentials and see if that's any different. I actually got one called GPS data as well. I downloaded a selection of them. There you go. I don't think you can see that. Four and four. It might be you can only see four from here. Go down a bit. There's the four there. And changing colour. They seem pretty much fixed in place. That seems to be giving out the same amount of uh, information. Actually, that's gone up to gone to five now. You can see that five and five. Actually, it says 190, 183, 177. It's dropping down as it's getting more information from the satellites, which is good. If I close that application, go into GPS Essentials, and uh, there you go, three, four satellites. Five now. And it's shown a countdown, as you can see that, of 52 seconds, which I think is from a positive lock on there. But it's sufficient anyway to do any... Um, navigating now and it's a lot quicker than what it was so hope you uh, enjoyed that and um, experiment around with it but you'll probably find that uh, you will get better or more accurate locks as a result of 
the tip of um, going into GPS Essentials and checking the, the datum and making sure you've selected the right one uh, for your area. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.